Welcome to the showdown. With me, Topless Baker. And me, Venetia Falconer. We'll be battling out against each other. Creating dishes to gain the approval of the taste master. <laughs> <laughs> This episode is all about the ultimate sandwich. So what you got? I am gonna be making the ultimate Elvis sandwich filled to the brim full of bacon. I mean, bacon up. Hang on, can we, didn't Elvis die on the toilet eating like a meaty, juicy burger? So why are you cooking like a vegan Elvis thing? Because Elvis didn't know me back then because I wasn't alive. But if he had, he'd be eating this. Trust me, it's brilliant. So talk me through your sub. Well, this is like my mother's childhood recipe. So you don't mess with Mama Topless Baker. Oh. So you're already, you're already gone. What's mummy's name? Mary. Mary. Oh. Mary Baker. No, it's not actually Mary Baker. That would be good though. Yeah, it would be. We've got two meats, we've got cheese, we've got two cheeses. Two so meats, two cheeses. Two meats, two cheeses. Wow. As far away from veganism as you could ever go. Yeah, well, I mean, we're really, we're at opposite ends of the spectrum this week. Total opposites, I like it. All right, I'm gonna throw my pan on, on a medium heat and I'm gonna saute some onions. I'm gonna to get to work on my bacon up, which is bacon made from coconut. So I have some dried coconut flakes here. I'm just gonna put them on a baking tray. And then to that, I'm going to add all of the seasoning. So I have some tamari, which is gluten-free soy sauce. Right. I'm also going to add some liquid smoke. And then I've also got some smoked paprika. And then I'm just gonna add a tiny drop of maple syrup and then just basically mix everything together with my hands. Super, super easy. I feel like all your recipes are gonna have maple syrup. Is that a staple of your cooking? You know what, I just really love the flavor. Okay. But yeah, maple syrup and tamari are basically in everything. What are you up to? I'm gonna throw some chopped onion into a pan. It should give me a sizzle, come on. Zero sizzle. Oh my goodness. What a disappointment. What a disappointment. You already hate me for this, but I'm gonna... What is that? Salt Bay, come on. Oh my God, you're obsessed. Do you even like, go on social media? Have you had what... fake bacon before? No, I just eat the real thing because I can. You're good, but you're gonna love it. I think this might convert you. I've made extra. I've made extra so you can try. Joy, lovely. And now the coconut is evenly coated by the seasoning. I'm just gonna pop it in the oven for about 11 to 12 minutes, tossing halfway through at 170 degrees. I'm gonna do pork and beef. It's okay. like the ultimate blend. If you ever like give up on <laughs> bacon nut and you wanna make some meatballs, 50-50 blend of okay. pork and mince. It's key. It's key. It's key. It's key. How, do, just did you, uh, how do you feel touching flesh? <laughs> <laughs> I like it. it, I mean it gets me going. I'm not gonna lie. Gets it's you very going. therapeutic. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. And I'm gonna throw in some onions that I've sauteed with the garlic. I'm gonna throw in breadcrumbs and then an egg. And this keeps the meatballs, it's gonna be your favorite word, moist. Moist. It keeps them moist. What a word. Okay. You've got balls and you've got moist. Oh, what you, a dream. You know it, you know it. And then this is, you know, this is epic spa day massaging right now. This gets a little bit Ah, uh, You know what, messy. I'm weirdly enjoying the sound effects. Yeah, no, shall I, shall I get closer so you can hear it? And my pan is sizzling away. And what you wanna do is throw these in, in a little, clockwise motion, so then you know when you started. And we're gonna fry them until they are nice and golden. So my bacon nut is out of the oven, and I'm just gonna leave that here. I need to griddle my bread. Okay, while you're griddling, I'm adding a little bit of tomato sauce. I would have shown you how to make this, but I didn't want to overwhelm you with the deliciousness of my meatballs. What's in the tomato sauce? It's a really rich little tomato sauce. It's just cherry tomatoes, garlic, olive oil, basil, chili. You roast them in the oven for about 20 minutes. Blitz them up and you get this delicious spicy sauce. Oh my gosh, that sounds amazing. It's really good. All right, do you want to try some of this sauce? Yes, I'd love to. I like that I can give you something that you can eat. Oh, bless Shall I feed you? I mean, can we, can yeah, we, do we this? can do this. Yeah, we I want to put it on your lovely white top. Oh, that's really good. It's, it's really nicely hot. Yeah. Give me some bacon up then, come on. Oh, yes. Mm. 
Oh my god. Do you like it? I hate to admit it. That is delicious. No, yes. the taste master is going to hate it. When you griddle a bread, do you have it on quite a high heat? Yeah, I'd probably put a bit of olive oil on it though. Oh, would you? Maybe a tiny bit. Witness, there's an assist going on No, no, on no. Here. This will be cut. This, this will be cut. You're not, not helping me. Come on. You're not helping me. So I'm going to go for a little bit of mozzarella. So you just want to slice thin little guys. And now you can add as many meatballs as you want. I think I'm going to go for like five. I am going to grab my peanut butter and to that I'm just going to add a tiny bit of maple syrup again. I know you said I have maple syrup on everything, but I just love if you mix any nut butter, whether that's almond butter, cashew butter with a little bit of maple syrup, it tastes so good. I'm going to add a little bit of sauce to the top of mine. All right, now I'm going to add my mozzarella. So on we go with this guy oozing into that sauce, which is what you want. Right, I'm going to start just layering on the banana. I'm doing a little bit of palmy. Ready? Do you have to do it from that height? You do have to do it from that height. OK. I'm going to be really generous with the bacon melt because it's the real star of the show. And the salty, smoky flavour goes so well against the sweetness of the peanut butter and the banana. And then, you ready for the crunch? I feel like that was just your burnt bread making a noise. It's not burnt, it's charred. Your beauty has just been defeated. Oh! Come on, Mama. Look at that. And now I'm sending my winning dish to the taste master. It's gone. And now I'm going to send my dish that's going to win to the taste master. <gasps> I'm the taste master. Come on, taste master, pick me. Pick me. Come on, this round is mine. Come on, old mighty taste master, give it to me. I want this one so bad. You don't beat my mama. Come on, ultimate meatball sandwich for the win. Let's go. Game on. Join us next time for more head-to-head -head dishes as we get serious. Not too serious.